hopefully you have watched this video where we proved that the volume of water in the tank can be given by this formula which is V is equal to one half theta minus sine theta and uh, uh, I told you that we are going to do this example which is an example on differentiation or related rate of change okay so if water is pumped into the tank uh, you're talking about this tank uh, this tank at the rate of one meters per one meter cube per minute okay and uh, if you want the link of my previous video this is the link uh, which you should watch to understand uh, where I got this example from okay so if water is pumped into the tank at the rate of 0.1 meter cube per minute find the rate at which the water level is rising when the depth of the water is 0.2 meters so so yeah uh, what are the things that we have so let us draw that triangle say the sector so this is the radius of half a meter say this is the angle this is the angle this is the arc okay so this is half a meter this is also half a meter and this angle is theta okay so we know the volume we proved just now or in the previous video I proved volume is half times theta minus sine theta the volume of water is dependent on this angle uh, and this is the amount of water level amount of water is this so we want to find uh, the rate at which the water level is rising so the question is we want to find so let us write that first we want to find dh by dt now our h is this so let me erase this so let me show you first what is our h our h is this height this is the what uh, the water level the height of water level is our h so let us say this is the water level this is our h okay this is our h so the total this is the radius so the, from here to suppose say this for c this is a and this is b so this height suppose let me call this d so this height would be 0.5 minus h because this is the radius and this is half is 0.5 so this angle would be theta by 2 okay and so this is a right angle triangle okay so let me bring back my brown color so can we say differentiating both with respect to theta dv by d theta would be half half is out so the derivative of theta is 1 minus the derivative of sine theta is cos theta so let us leave this as it is say this is our result 1 okay what else do we know okay okay so what can we say now so can we find a relation between h and theta okay so let me use a different color can I say cos theta by 2 cos theta by 2 is adjacent over hypotenuse which is 0.5 minus h over hypotenuse which is 0.5 so cross multiplying 0.5 times cos theta by 2 is equal to 0.5 minus h so making h the subject i hope you can understand h is nothing but 0.5 minus 0.5 cos theta by 2. now differentiating with respect to theta h so we can say dh by d theta uh, this is a constant so this is zero so this is minus 0 0.5 now applying the chain rule you have to differentiate the inside the derivative of theta by 2 is 
uh, minus half. So I'll write minus 0 0.5 times the derivative of cos is negative sign. So this is negative sign theta by 2. So we can say dh by d theta, dh by d, d, d theta is this is negative and negative will become positive. This is 0 0.25 sine theta by 2. Okay, so this is what we have. So let us call this a result 2. Okay, and what do we have? What is given is dv by water is pumped to the tank at the rate of 0.1 meter cube. So let me use a different color. So this, this information is telling me dv by dt is 0 0.1. I'm not writing the unit here. So dv by dt is 0.1. Okay, so we want to find, this is our question, we want to find dh by dt. So, so let me bring it this color. So this kind of neutral color. So dh by dt is what we want to find. So is equal to, let us start with dh by d theta times, I want to cancel this out, so I have to say d theta by dv. Do we have dv by d theta? Yes, we have dv by d theta. So we can write d theta by dv times dv by dt. We have dv by dt. So can you see this and this would get cancelled. This and this would get cancelled. And what remains is dh by dt. Okay, now we have to come back to the condition. It says when the height is, when the depth of the water is 0.2 meters. Okay, so this, we need to find our theta. So this, they're telling us this height, this height is 0.2 meters. The depth of the water is 0.2 meters. So if the depth of the water is 0.2 meters, I hope you can see that this would be 0.3 meters. And we know that this is, this is how much? This is 0.5. So with the help of this, if you know this and this, you can find uh, theta. So can we say, so let me show the working here. Yeah. Cos theta by 2 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5. Okay, so theta by 2 is cos inverse of this angle. So this is cos inverse of 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5. So let us get the calculator out and, uh, okay, so this is my calculator. It's in radians. I know it is in radians, so, but let me check. Uh, this is in radians, so I will go shift cos bracket 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5, which is point. 9272. This is theta by 2. So times it by 2, that will give me 1.8545. Okay, so let me save this. Okay, so let me save this. So shift cos, I want the exact answer, uh, 0.3 divided by 0.5, which is this angle. So I'll save this as alpha A. So 2A would be uh, 2A would be theta. Okay, so I'm going to say this is my calculator has saved this as A. So theta by 2 I have saved this as A. So in my calculation I'll be, instead of theta by 2 I'll be using A and instead of theta I'll be using 2A to get the exact answer. Okay, so yeah, uh, so let us write again. So what is dh by, so let me show the working. Uh, dh, what is dh by d theta? dh by d theta is 0 0.5, 0 0.25 times sine a. I hope you understand because theta by two is a. 
So get my calculator out. It is, um, so let me confirm alpha A. Oops, it didn't save. So shift cos uh, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5. So I'll save this as I didn't press the enter. So let me confirm alpha A is that number, yeah. So I can go 0 0.25 cos, sorry, 0 0.25 sine alpha A is this number. That is 0 0.2 exactly. So this is 0 0.2. Uh, that is 0 0.2. Okay, now we need D. Let me first find dV by d theta. What is the formula? dV by d theta. Where is that? Uh, we had shown this. Yeah, dV by d theta is half minus 1 minus cos theta. So which is half times 1 minus cos theta. So this is nothing but 0 0.5 times 1 minus cos 2a. 2a because theta is 2a. So 0 0.5 bracket 1 minus cos 2 alpha a that is 0 0.64. So I have to take the reciprocal of that. So this is 0 0.64. Okay, so let us put the value. So dh, so dh by dt, dh by dt is equal to dh by d theta is 0 0.2. This is dv by d theta is 0 0.64. This is 1 over 0 0.64 because we want to find d theta by dv times 0 0.1 which is nothing but so let us again use the calculator which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.64 which is 0 0.03125 meters per minute so the answer is 0 0.03125 meters per minute is the final answer.